Can you hear me? I just plugged in my earphones. Yes, I hear you good. Okay, perfect. Um, so I've done a few things already. Um, I have to tell you that I am not a very patient person. <laughs> so um, I get excited or I get an idea in my head and I just start creating. So I've already done a website. I've already done a few landing pages to be awesome. able to awesome. um, redirect people. I've only gotten um, one lead off of that. Mm -hmm. um, but to be fair, I haven't really done any ads yeah. for any of any of that content. Mm -hmm. um, but so we got the likes up. That's awesome. I'm just, I, I guess I'm just kind of lost it where to go from here. And I know that you're talking about like doing ads, local ads and stuff like that. I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> um, I, I just need your help. I think <laughs> yes, that, that's all we would need to do is just learn how to run simple ads to capture leads directly to your local area. That's it. Like it, and it's, and it's really, I used to really charge a lot to do this all for real estate agents and, and obviously, you know, charge everyone monthly, but I truly believe like I'm on a mission this year to teach you guys how to do it yourself because I truly believe it's simple. Um, everyone has a different budget, so it wasn't, it didn't make sense for me to charge the same for everyone. And so I don't, I don't even want you to stress out on having to pay someone every month to do this. I literally want to teach you to do, do it yourself. So what I kind of do now is I just kind of broke it up into a handful of coaching calls where we just jump on and I literally walk you through how to set up every ad. And it's really just a okay. few calls. I mean, it's not like, you know, we're married to each other. It's just a, a handful of phone calls where we would do screen share and I'd take you through your ads manager and just teach you how to set up everything. Ads, okay. Facebook ads and your landing page is all you need. And, and it literally comes down to knowing how to set it up the right way because there's, there's, there's quite a few steps on, on the back end before we even run an ad. There's a few steps that we have to set up first. Um, and that's what I kind of coach you on. And they're like one hour calls is what I, is what I really you know, kind of boiled, boiled it down to. But you're either, you're either going to be that person that, that actually has the patience and the willingness to learn it, to do it yourself, or you're going to obviously have to delegate it. Because the bottom line is you have to run ads. Like there is no more organic posting. Like if you think you could just take your landing page link and just share it on social media, I mean, you got super lucky by even getting one lead. Like it's not yeah. going to happen. Like it's not going to happen at all, like on any platform. And, and the only reason for it is because the majority of our connections live across the country. So when it comes to the people who like our page, they're all over the place. When it comes to our Facebook friends, they're all over the place. So unless I actually take a post and run it directly to my backyard, that's the only place I'm going to get a, get an ROI. But the secret is to run it every week. So, so it would either be a listing that you're running for week number one or an open house that you're running for week number one. But if we don't have a listing or an open house, then what I would highly recommend is a, is giving out a buyer guide or a seller guide. That's the, the, okay. the secret sauce. That's what agents do not do. They come on a social media, they pitch themselves <laughs> and they just want to talk about how, how badass they are. And, and that's not going to attract no one. Like we have to give people, we have to give in, re, in, in exchange for, them to give us what we want, which is, which is their name and information. We're looking for interested people. And so yeah. when you could take a Facebook post and run it directly to your backyard and the moment they click on learn more, they come to a page where they can enter their information, view listings. If I click that, see a pop-up form should have came up. So I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't yeah. be able to get this far at all. Mm -hmm. Like on this first, right when this, right when I clicked on this button, a pop-up form should have came up. Enter your name and email, click submit, and then you take me here. Oh, that, that, okay. That's the biggest, biggest, biggest difference is that if we're running a Facebook ad directly to here, there's already way too much going on. So, okay. so we're paying for clicks. That's what technically we're doing. We're literally paying to get people to click. So, so the only reason why I would do that is to, mm -hmm. is to capture a lead. 
But if I'm taking them to a full blown page like this, before you know it, they're clicking on my Instagram, they're clicking on my Pinterest, they're following me on LinkedIn. It's like, I didn't pay for them to do that. Or yeah. they're coming over here and then they're clicking right here. They're clicking one or the other. They're clicking on more. And then, and then for sure, now, now I click on view listings and you brought me over here. So before you know it, I'm clicking about. And then, mm-hmm. I, and then my wife's calling me and I got to go. <laughs> and I'm Xing out. But you paid for that click. Mm-hmm. And so that's why the landing page has to be much, much more basic than that. Um, okay. So, so if this was a listing, they click on learn more. I would bring them to a simple page like this. Like this is a simple listing landing page. So they, they go from. Hey, David, hang on yeah. just a second. Right. Matt, yeah. Madison, you need to leave the room, please. And the charger is in your room and it's plugged in next to your bed. Go out and close the door. Go out and close the door. Take it with you. Ava can help you with it. Go. Close the door. Kids, I love Thank kids. Thank you, ma'am. Gosh, kids are, kids are so crazy. I, I oh drive gosh. myself crazy like when my kids are home. Are, are, you, are, you keeping, <laughs> are you keeping everything together? Like, are you, like, kids at home? Like, isn't it getting crazy? Oh, my gosh. It, <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> it is. It's a mess. Oh my it's gosh, like, dude! I have but, a six. I have a twelve-year-old. He's in sixth grade. Well, now he's going to seventh grade, and I'm like, dude, you got to get back to school. Like, you got to get back. I know. Like, I even hate when they're on spring <laughs> break or just random. Vac- I know. No, they're like on normal vacation. I even hate it. I'm like, dude, you need two days off. The weekend is your vacation. Like, get back yeah. to school. Like, what the hell? Like, four and then, weeks. And then, like, the parents need a vacation from right? that. <laughs> right exactly oh my gosh i feel you i know it's awful i feel so you apologize no worries at all i totally i totally get it and and my wife and i we have we have a, a soon-to-be two-year-old daughter so that's a, that's a little handful she's a little handful but she i mean god she's so she's so amazing but she's a handful at that age obviously and then we yeah. have a, we have a son on the way he'll be here next month oh my gosh and so, gosh and then we're now moving we just got a new place so it's like so much going on so much going on wow 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 good. god it's bless you <laughs> <laughs> yeah. thanks Jen. thanks here here's a simple page look i this would be an ad i click learn more and then i come to this one single page there's no social media icons there's no about us there's no contact us there's no view listings none of that i'm paying for them to come here so the only button i'm gonna put in their face is one single button and the moment you click on it i'm capturing the lead Mm. that's as simple as it gets and that's as powerful as it gets so so the whole strategy is to simply run an ad every week but again if we don't have a listing that you're running for the week or an open house that you're running for the week then what i would recommend is a you had you have it right on that other page buyer guide seller guide i would say choose one so okay. now you start running a weekly ad to educating people, whether you're going to either do it via, um, via video or you're going to do it with an image. But the whole purpose is, and, and with an image, it would be an image of you. So rather than, let me go back to this, rather than an image of a, of a home, like we've seen mm-hmm. a million beautiful homes. Like there's absolutely yeah. nothing that's attractive about this at all. I've seen a million of them. So the consumer, mm-hmm. that is no... There's no personality. There's no, there's no you. So it's either going to be a video of you every week, or it's going to be an image of you every week. It's all about that branding. I need to see Jen's face in my newsfeed every single week. And so okay. if this was an image, it'd be an image, your headshot, you got a great shot there. Run that as the image ad, different headshots, different poses, and it's Jen. And then in the text, what you would promote is a free seller guide. Hey guys, click the learn more button. It'll take you straight to my page where you can download your 2020 seller guide. And I know there's a ton of people moving this this year and and looking for just the best strategies to sell their property. We put together a 2020 seller guide that will really give you some great tips and tricks um, if you're choosing to sell this year. Click learn more, it'll take you straight to my page. They click learn more, they come over to one single page and this is just random. You can obviously edit all this, but it's the simplicity of this. 
10 simple tips to raise the value of your home before selling. I'll also send you a step-by-step -step plan of getting started. Get my 10 tips here. Go ask dad. <laughs> That's it. So it just, it so, just comes down to <clears throat> dad. So is this done, this page right here, is this done by GoDaddy or is it like no. a separate? No, you don't oh, need okay. GoDaddy. What you need, you don't even need a website. What you need is a web page. So there's, there's, there's separate softwares yeah. for that. Um, the software that I use and most of, most, mostly all the landing page softwares, all these different CRMs are a hundred bucks, 200 bucks a month. That's what, okay. that's what all of them run. But the one that I use, it's a hundred bucks a month, but it comes with the landing page. It comes with the email autoresponder and it comes with the calendar because as people oh. and opt in that lead net, needs to be uh, right away. And yeah. You're not going to be sitting there physically sending emails out. So your email autoresponder is super powerful to nurture that lead. And in the emails that the autoresponder sends out, in those emails is a link to your calendar. So nice. the way it would work is we you'd be running ads to your local area. They click learn more, they come to your landing page, they're interested in selling or they're interested in buying and you're enticing them with a free PDF. Here's a buyer guide, here's a seller guide, a simple PDF. They enter yeah. the email, they click send me your tip or send me your buyer guide. Instantly the email autoresponder triggers. Hey Dave, this is Jen. Here's your 2020 buyer guide. Thank you so much for downloading. Click the link here. And by the way, Dave, if you're if you have questions or if you're looking to sell, or if you just you know want to chat, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best your best time to speak. Can't wait to talk to you, Dave. Have a great day. So in the emails that would go out is a link to your calendar. And that's the whole purpose of an email autoresponder. Because tomorrow I'm gonna get another email. Hey Dave, this is Jen. I know yesterday you downloaded my seller guide. Hey, do you remember Never, three, when I was talking about curb appeal? Here's what I meant. And by the way, Dave, uh, the link below will take you straight to my calendar. I'd love to chat with you and kind of see your goals and really get some tips and tricks on what you can do even, even more. Don't, don't forget to look for my email tomorrow, Dave. I'm going to be sending you some more tips and tricks. Talk to you then. And then another three days later, another email goes out. And this is all happening while you're hanging with your kids. Like an email autoresponder is the most important because three days later, I'm going to get another email. Hey, Dave, this is Jen. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, I know a few days ago you downloaded my seller guide. Do you remember on page five when I was talking about renovating your kitchen? Here's what I meant. And also, Dave, by the way, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. And these are basic, basic emails, simple emails that are breaking down the seller guide. And you could put that in. Let's say, for example, this was a 10-page PDF. And I have examples of, of seller or buyer guides. Like I can send you an example. I have, I, have, I have a buyer guide that's like 25 pages. So this right here becomes your bait. This is what you run to your local audience. This is how you entice them to give up their name and email. Okay. And so if you can imagine, like let's say a 10-page document, we can break down each paragraph. We could break down each page. We could break down each chapter. We could break down each topic in a series of 10 emails. That's how you nurture the list. So again, five days later, hey, Dave, this is Jen. Hey, I know last week you downloaded my seller guide. Do you remember on page nine when I was talking about updating your kitchen and the countertops? Here's what I meant. And all you're doing is just giving them, you're educating them. And that's what your, that's what your weekly ad also becomes. Your weekly ad becomes educational content. You're educating mm -hmm. the audience on either the process of buying or you're educating the, the audience on the process of selling. And I'm recommending to choose one because okay. it, it makes it easier for you to, to create content. It's everything's around selling or buying. And then also it, it, it allows you to build an audience of people who live in your local backyard that are all mm -hmm. interested in the same thing, which is selling. Okay. And although you can do it all, you have every bag of trick, you have, you have every trick in your bag. I get it. But 
for Facebook ads and to keep it simple, you focus on one and you give away a buyer or a seller guide. And you break that down, you break that PDF down in a series of emails that continues to nurture that list and build a relationship. And in each email, there's a link to your calendar to get people to schedule a call. And so okay. when you can really oil the machine and have a mm -hmm. weekly ad going out every single week, targeting that area, you literally dominate. Like it's, it's, it's checkmate after a few videos or after a few ads, because even, even yeah. if you weren't doing, even if you weren't doing video, which is what I want you to do, but even if you weren't, as a person scrolling through, as they're just scrolling through, their, look, this is a guy, this is actually one guy that I, that I learned a lot from. He does videos and he does images. But hmm. even the images, I see his image every damn day. <laughs> so it's like, if he was a local real estate agent, which he's not, he's not a real estate guy, he's a, he's a digital marketer, he's a marketing guy. But if he was a local realtor, whether it was a video or whether it was an image. And I kept seeing that. And he lives five miles away from me. And he mm -hmm. keeps educating me. And he keeps offering me a free download. He's not just pitching me. He's actually educating me. And when I click on learn more, he's giving me some type of free download. Mm. That's, the, that's the, whole, the, whole, the whole objective here is to build up a pipeline of hundreds of people that are downloading this, this seller guide that all live next door to you. And that's why it, yeah. this right here is as simple and as powerful as it gets. There's apps. I'm truly convinced from a marketing perspective, there's absolutely <laughs> nothing you're going to be able to do to match this at all. When it comes to the, the cost of what this entire Facebook monthly budget would cost you. And when it compares to the actual ROI, actual lead capture, there's nothing you can do offline. There's absolutely zero. So I know that sounds biased coming from a Facebook guy, but, I, but if there was something else, I'd be, I'd be pitching you that. There's just not. There's not. For the budget and, and for the effectiveness, there's not. We have, to, we have to crush Facebook ads first before you even consider anything else. You know, so, so it's, it's about giving out a guide. It's about giving out a buyer guide, giving out a seller guide um, if you don't have a listing or an open house. And it's just about running an ad every week. That's it. That's it. That's all there is to it. And, and making sure that you have an email autoresponder because that's how you're going to nurture that list. You're going to stay top of mind with all these leads because emails are automatically going out while you're hanging out with your family. Does that kind of make sense? Dave, sorry. Gotcha. No Can worries. you hear me? Yeah. I, okay. I, okay. No worries. Um, okay. Yeah. So all all of it makes sense. I want to I want to move forward with with that, um, but I'm just I'm kind of lost at where to go from here because um, I set up that GoDaddy site. I set up a couple of landing pages to get to or from capture information from excuse you from the buyer and seller guide. Um, so it seems to me like I, I, I've kind of done that wrong. <laughs> yeah. So I want, you to, um, I want you to actually cancel that. I want you to, to okay. get, as long as you're within, within, I think it's like 30 days. Yeah. You can get mm -hmm. your money back. Um, because that's not a landing page. That's a, that's a website. Like we don't need a website. We need a landing page. Um, and, and we need the email autoresponder and we need the calendar. So okay. That those are the only two expenses a person needs today. I don't care what kind of business a person's building, Facebook ad budget and landing page software. That's it. Okay. And, and in your business, there's all kinds of fancy bells and whistles, the IDX, all kinds of crazy CRMs. There's some fancy ass yeah. stuff in your industry, but I'm telling you, it's yeah. all freaking bogus. Like I don't need any of that stuff. Like I just need to capture the lead. I need to put my yeah. face in front of my local community. That's it. Yeah. And, and once I capture the lead, I can email them whatever the heck I want. Like once I capture the lead, then I would send them to that website, but, but not prior. Yeah. So, yeah. So I mean, because it looks pretty and everything and, and I, I, I love it. It helps mm -hmm. me feel <laughs> legitimate, you know, mm -hmm, <laughs> you know what mm -hmm, I mean? Mm -hmm. But, um, I've not seen any results. 
No. And so that's, yeah. Well, well, number one reason why you're not seeing any results because you're not running any ads. That's the only reason. That's the only reason. Yeah. Number, two, number two, it's because it's not a lead capture page. It's more of a website. That's number two. Yeah. So those two reasons is why. If you okay. start running ads, like I dropped a video two days ago, I think, on my YouTube channel where it's, it's okay. I'm doing a call like this with another realtor here in California. He works with Compass. And, and we captured like 15 leads, like literally in, I think like in a day. So wow. only because we're running an ad and it was for a listing. So he, he, we were actually running an ad for, for one of his listings in, in the, in San Francisco area. And so it's just, it just comes down to running the ad and taking it to a landing page. That's it. That's it. There's nothing okay. else to it. That is absolutely it. But, but a lot of times when I speak to people, they just run an ad here and there. And it's like, no, the strategy is to run one every week. Yeah. You know? So, um, <clears throat> Madison, I'm sorry, David, hang on just one no, second, you're fine. okay? You're fine. Come here. Come here. Come here. Lord have mercy. Do not I am stress so out. Sorry. Do not stress out. Okay. Um, <laughs> God. I can't even think straight half the time. Okay. This is why I can't get anything done. Right? Hey, hey, you know what? Okay. Here's, here's the last thing I'm going to say about all this. Okay. Because of how hectic our freaking lives are is the absolute <laughs> number one reason why you need to be doing all this. Because a Facebook ad is running 24-7 to your neighbors. They're clicking on that landing page and entering their name and email while you're sleeping. Those emails yeah. are automatically going out to get people to schedule appointments while you're running around with your kids. It's literally automated, the entire damn thing. That's yeah. why it's so awesome. freaking powerful. So if I got to spend a few bucks, if I got to go, to, if I have to stop going to Starbucks, if I have to start going out to dinner, stop going, you know, as many as we go, my wife and I, to free up <laughs> some type of budget I have to do that. And my biggest advice now, Jen, that I give my, my clients and my friends, I'm like, dude, here's the bottom line. If you have to go get a part-time job, and it's not to hire me. This is just for them to just run it on their own because I want to I wanna teach you how to do it your damn self. I'm telling them, I'm saying, hey, this is not to hire me. This is for you to have this type of budget. And it's, we're not talking a lot of money. We're talking literally a couple hundred bucks a month. But I get it how even that could be a lot right now. I get it. So if a person has to go get a part-time job, if they have to start some type of side hustle, or if they have to have a garage sale every weekend, that's what you're going to have to do. Because I'm truly convinced after speaking to thousands of agents and knowing exactly where we're at today with the economy and where we're at as far as the internet, th that's the only way you're going to do business. It's the only way. There is no organic yeah. posting. Your entire friends list, no one lives in the area. Right. So we have to run ads or, 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 we're, or we're going out of business. Bottom line. That's, that's my honest to God truth. That's, that's how I feel. And, yeah. and, and we have to be targeting our local area. So it just comes down to your budget. I mean, what's your budget? We have, are, are, well, first of all, are you the one to, to want to learn it yourself or do you want to just delegate this to somebody else? So <clears throat> honestly, I, I mean, I want to, I want to learn it myself. I do, Perfect. but as you can see, I don't have the damn time to do that. <laughs> um, I'm sitting here spinning my wheels on, um, you know, what I, what I need to do. So yes, I do want to learn it myself. I have an IT background. I think I cap, you know, I, I catch on to stuff like this pretty easily, mm -hmm. but, um, I, I, I need a, a little bit of help. Now, as far as budget is concerned, um, I'm, I'm, you know, if I don't start seeing results, I am a results driven person. Mm -hmm. And if I don't start seeing them right away, then, um, I'm out usually. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I know this is something that I have to stick to. I'm in real estate now, so it doesn't always work that way, but, yes. um, so I'm, I'm on the verge of going and buying leads from my brokerage. Now that is a hundred ninety nine dollars a month. Mm -hmm. And I've heard that, um, it's, they're not the warmest leads. So well, because it's all because they don't I would prefer you. not to do. Yeah, exactly. That, that, so I would prefer yeah. not to do that. 
I, so, I, I mean, yeah. if it's, if it's doing this for a hundred dollars or doing that for a hundred dollars, I'd much rather do this. And I would even go to 150 if we can start see if, if I start seeing results, I mean, I can up the budget because I need, I need results. Mm -hmm. I need mm -hmm. results now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta put something out. We gotta put something out to get something in. But, but here's what I, what I also want to just really help, help, you know, have you keep in mind. Okay. As far as the budget, as far as like what you're going to put out, you got to understand that you're in real estate. So even though you have a ton of expenses, even though you have different fees that you're paying, I get it. Your ROI is ridiculous. So it's like, yeah. that's why it makes so much, so much sense for a real estate agent to be running Facebook ads. You close one deal, you make several thousand. We spent several hundred to make several thousand. I'll do that all damn day. Like yeah. what the hell? Like, so I don't need, I don't want you to be nervous. I don't want you to be like, damn, if I don't see something quick, I'm going to freaking jump off a bridge. Like, no, like you cannot be thinking that way. <laughs> you can't think that way. You have to give it time. You have to, you have to, you have to put gas in the machine and let the damn car run. Like you have yeah. to, and, and we're not talking months. We have, let, let's just look at it as one month. Like we got to put out four ads in the next four weeks. And, 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 and I'm telling you, Jen, you have the freaking look, like you have the look, you have the professionalism, you have the knowledge. You need to get over it. If you're not into video, you have to get over it, man. Yeah. You have to, you have to, because if, if you could put yourself out on video and, and again, the topic is either selling or buying, we're going to focus on one. And in that video, all you're doing is two to three minutes, giving us different tips on selling telling us what to look out for, telling us what we can do, telling us how we can improve the property, how we can put new flooring, all these random things that you already know is what mm -hmm. you start to break up in two to three minute weekly videos. That's it. Okay. And at the end of the video, Hey guys. And if you found value in this video, click learn more. It'll take you straight to my page where you can download your free 2020 seller guide that goes into much more detail and, and, and designed to give you the, a ton of information on selling your property. Click learn more. I'll see you on, on, my, on, on the next page. That's it. Like, that's it. And, and if you can just imagine doing that every week, before you know it, that whole town is going to know who the heck you are. Now, it's, it's either we're going to explain that in a two-minute video, or it's going to be an image, and you're going to explain that in text. So just like this right here. You wrote out the text, there's the image. So mm -hmm. either we're going to be creative and write out a freaking paragraph, which I don't recommend you do. I'd rather you just verbally tell me because <laughs> yeah. no one wants to sit here and read the whole damn thing. But the moment they come across someone like you that they see, it's like, do you, I mean, come on, let's just keep it real. Like people are going to be attracted. Like, and, and, and you got to leverage that, man. You have to use that to your, that's why you women do great in real estate. It's like, you guys look, you guys have the look, you have the knowledge, who the hell wouldn't want to work with you, you know? And, and you have to leverage that to, you know, in a respectful way. And, yeah. and I'm just yeah. saying like a video would, you would, you would crush it. You would crush it. After a few videos, everyone's going to know who you are, like in that local area. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's either video or, or we put out image. I mean, obviously. But no, I mean, I, I mean, if, if video, so this entire industry is way out of my comfort zone. Okay. So if we're going to do it, let's just do it. <laughs> and, and see, <laughs> you know, it, I, I know I mentioned this. Uh, I, I, well, I don't remember mentioning it, but I, I, I could have swore I would have mentioned this because I mention it all the time. You have to understand Jen that you you're licensed. You have studied for this damn industry. Like, you yeah. know more than nine, this is a fact. I'm giving you, this is a fact. This is not my opinion. You know more about the buying and selling of residential real estate than 99% of your entire state. You know more about the buying and selling of real estate than 99% of the entire country. I don't think you understand that. That's a fact. My neighbors don't know a damn thing about real estate. And even though I've been in mortgages and I was a lender for six years, you still would know way more than I do when it comes to buying and selling in 2020. There's so much crap that I don't know anymore. And I was a lender. So it's like, dude, whatever you put out, my point is, is that whatever you put out, people are going to under, people are going to gravitate to it. And again, when you're coming from an educational perspective, not just, Hey, I want to list your home. I'll have it sold by tomorrow. No, like not pitching. Like we're educating. 
when you start educating, people become, and here's the thing, and here's real science for you. The reason why video is so powerful is because once a person, once a consumer, and this is human nature, this is, this is, psych, this is psychology, this is science. Mm -hmm. Once an individual sees you on video, and once they keep seeing you, two videos, three videos, four videos, what happens psychologically without them even knowing is they become indoctrinated. Meaning, by the third or fourth time seeing a person on video, they automatically feel, this is human nature, we automatically feel like we know them, we feel like we like them, and we feel like we could trust them. Because I keep seeing her on video and she's actually educating me. There's nothing aggress aggressive about that at all. That's what allows the, the, the human being to be attracted to that person and want to do business. That's why my YouTube channel, I'm not just knowing this from just a science point, but I'm also experiencing it in my real life with my YouTube channel. The only reason why my YouTube channel has gained momentum and it's actually really, really taken off is because it's freaking video. Like the yeah. same way I'm talking to you right now is the same way you see me visually on a damn video. So, so because of my authenticity and because of how raw I really keep it, it's my personality, people then see me on video, they're attracted and they subscribe. It's visual, it's video. And, and it has nothing to do with how you look. Thank God you, you actually have that in your favor, but it has nothing to do with that at all. It has everything to do with the fact that it's video. So you could look mm -hmm. like a freaking total Medusa. Like you can have your hair all messed up, no makeup, like <laughs> look like trash. But the fact that you're on video, believe me, there's an audience for you. Yeah. And that's why, that, that's why I talk about on my YouTube channel all the time. I'm like, man, I'm, I teach social media marketing and Facebook ads on my YouTube channel, but I'm not the best. Like, I, I don't know everything about the damn subject, not at all. But, um, but the amount of information that I do know attracts my ideal client and that's enough for me. So yeah. you don't need everyone to like you, nor is everyone going to like you. The small amount that actually do will, will turn a, a huge ROI on this entire campaign. Everything we put out, let's say we spend a thousand bucks a month. Let's say we spend 2000 a month. Even if we closed one damn deal, you're profitable. Yeah. And that's at two grand, which you're not even, you're thinking a hundred bucks. I need you to open yeah. your brain. <laughs> Like, I need you to expand that mind of yours. Even if we were spending two grand, you're still making a profit. So that's why it makes so much sense for real estate. And so few are leveraging it. So few, so few. All you guys are posting on your freaking Instagram. All you guys are doing TikTok dances. Like it's freaking doing something for your business. <laughs> ain't doing nothing. It's like, dude, like, and, 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 and it's not the fact that, it's, that the content sucks. It's just the fact that, 99% of our of the people that follow us on all these platforms don't even live in my area. Yeah. So they don't give a damn about my, about my listing or my open house coming up. They don't even live in the area. Yeah. That those are our That's followers true. on social media. LinkedIn, Instagram, it doesn't matter. Whatever platform. So that's why the only way I can narrow it in is through a damn ad. I have to run an ad. I have to target my area because those are the only people that I'm doing business with and those are the only people who matter. So if I have to spend a few bucks to get their attention, I got to do that. And, and there's not one magic ad. That's why you have to have patience. That's why we have to pull one out every week. Because, because just put yourself in the, in the shoes of a consumer. When you're online and see a random ad, you're not always quick to react. Like until you see something over and over and over, then you're like, damn, okay, maybe I should click. You know, unless you're actually searching for something, that's different. But if it's passive and you're just randomly seeing ads in your newsfeed, or if you're on Instagram and you're randomly seeing ads, you need to see it multiple times. That's advertising 101, where, where yeah. a consumer has to see the message multiple times before they pull a trigger. So if I can keep seeing your face, or if I can see, keep seeing your video in my newsfeed every single day, and it's a different topic every single week, and I keep seeing you. I'm not your Facebook friend. I don't like your business page. But little do I know, you live five miles away. And you're educating on this specific topic and you're targeting me. And I keep seeing you. Eventually, I'm going to click. 
and, and, yeah. and, and it's all about you being consistent. It's all about being, being consistent. And that's why that type of branding, there's nothing like it. Like I come from leads. When I was a lender, I didn't rely on real estate agents giving me their business because my, my, which is my best friend, the one who owns the company, he, they still crush it today. They do very, very well today. But he and I come from leads and I, we come from the internet marketing business. And so he mm -hmm. built the mortgage company on buying leads. So when I was an mm -hmm. LO for six years, I literally dialed seven to 800 leads a day. And when oh you do God. that, you're just another telemarketer. Yep. So when you're buying leads from your broker, you're buying leads from Zillow, from wherever, you're just another telemarketer. There, there's three other agents calling them. With me, I had, I had to compete yeah. with three other banks calling them because <laughs> I'm calling leads to refi or I'm calling mm -hmm. leads to purchase. So, so that was the business I was in where I understand the lead business. So when it comes to when, so, so after that six year run, guess what? No one knew who I was. I didn't create any brand for myself at all. Yeah. So with real estate branding is everything. We got to get your people to know who you are. And it's going to happen this way. It's not going to happen by putting your face on a bus bench, a billboard. It's not going to happen door knocking. It's not going to happen putting up flyers and having your kids pass them out. It's not going to happen that way. So we got to, we got to learn this stuff, Jen, either, either I'm going to coach you and, and teach you to learn this whole Facebook ad part of it all, or you're going to, or you're going to delegate it. Like there's a couple ways we can do it. Like I literally have a, a bunch of training videos on all this. So if you need video training, then I have an entire course, or if you okay. need me on, you know, physical time with you, then that's just a handful of coaching calls. But I just know for a fact that in a handful of coaching calls, like we set up one a week for the next four weeks, you're going to know this like the back of your hand. Mm -hmm. So if, if you have to <laughs> invest up front to learn the damn thing, that's what you're going to have to do. Because either we're going to invest time or invest a couple bucks to, to learn it the right way. And, and right here in the ads manager, when you come to the, to the Facebook ads manager, there's quite a bit that, that, needs, that needs to be learned. And there's quite a bit that needs to be set up before you even run ads. Mm, so okay. that would take us a handful of calls just to learn the damn ads manager. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But after you learn it, then, then sky's the limit and the budget is whatever the hell you want to spend. At least you're not tied to someone because anyone you hire is going to make you spend X amount. So I'd rather just have you learn it and you just spend what you want as you go, but at least you'll know mm -hmm. how to do it the right way. Um, <clears throat> so it just comes down, it just comes down to our, to our budget. Like what's our budget, you know, look at it monthly. Like what's our, what's our budget? What's your budget? I don't really have a set budget right now because I don't even know honestly what to expect. Um, I don't know what it, what, what it's going to take. You know what I mean? You want to, I want you thinking at least, I want you thinking, I mean, not that you have to necessarily start here, but I want you thinking it. I want you thinking at least starting at 500 a month. Okay. Like that's where I want you at least thinking. And that, and, and, and that's, that's, that's to really roll something out successfully. Um, and then after that, you start capturing leads, you start closing, you close one damn deal. Gosh, I mean, that's a, that's a crazy ROI. If you closed one, that's what I'm saying. You don't need everyone to like you. That's what I'm saying. Go out on video because as insecure as you well, are, I mean, because, <clears throat> you know, whatever you need, you need, it doesn't take that many deals. <laughs> so just to do like Zillow premium or whatever the hell it's called. Um, I mean, that's like $5,000. That's, that's nuts. Jen, and I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm telling you, um, I already know. Yeah. Like I know, so I'm giving okay, you a fraction. Well, I'm telling you a fraction, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I'm with you, Dave. I just need to, um, I need to figure out the, I, I need to figure out the budgeting and how I'm going to be able to come up with that right now to get started. Um, I'm going to talk to my husband a little bit and see. Um, what we can do and see here here's what here's here's what i also here's here's what i also want to throw out there is the fact okay. that if you're really if you're really on that tight of a budget then let's just go that let's just go like literally step by step 
like because what we what we do need to set up is we need to set up at least at least I mean we could set up one coaching call. I can I could probably try to cram everything in in one call. And and everything has to do with the Facebook ads manager and your landing page. There has to be okay. there has to be different things added to your page, which is what we which is what Facebook calls a pixel. That pixel mm -hmm. needs to be added to your landing pages. That's number one. And then number two, we have to do a few things to the ads manager before we even run an ad. So for example, a custom audience needs to be set up. So when, like, let me go back to your page. Uh, here's what a custom audience is. Let me go back to that actual learn more. <laughs> um, where's that learn? Where's that learn more one at? Here, we, okay. So here's a custom audience. As people see this ad, they click on learn more. They come to this one single page. Up here, I have this Facebook Pixel Helper. It's a plugin. It's a free download, where it's installed up here at the top, and this tracks this 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 allows me to know who's tracking me with a Facebook Pixel. Here's what a Facebook Pixel is. So so right away, I already know this page doesn't have one. If I pull up this one, look at um, if I refresh. I think it's on this page. Let me double check. It's, let me see if I have, actually I have it on this one. Okay, so for example, here's the difference. So right here, you see this box here in the top right? Yeah. Okay, it's shaded gray. It's a shaded gray box. If I come to my page over here, the box is now blue and it has the green and it has the number three. And the reason for it is because my Facebook pixel is on this page, meaning I'm able to track not by the name, not by the person's name and phone number, because it's not a lead. Facebook is just tracking for me and giving me data and putting all these people in a bucket and creating, cre and creating an actual audience from it. So for example, as we run ads, people click learn more, they come to this page. Some people are going to click on the button and give up their name and number, and some people are not. So a custom audience allows us to track everyone who landed here, but didn't click the button. And why do I want that data? Because if they've seen my ad and they've got, and they clicked on learn more and they got this far, but for some reason they didn't click the button for many reasons, they could have been driving, they could have been cooking, the kids could have been in the background, whatever. They didn't click the button, but they did click learn more and they got to the page. I need to know that. Because when I go run Facebook ad number two, I want to target them. I want those people to yeah. see me again. That's a warm market. And so oh, okay. that's what's called a Facebook custom audience. So normally on one coaching okay. call, I'm helping you set up all that. And then on another co coaching call where we have to put the pixel on all these pages. So this is one page it has to go on. It has to go on the thank you page. So that's what I'm saying. This is not a landing page. Like this is not, this is more of a website. We don't need a website. You have a website through your company. This website's the last thing you yeah. need. You need landing pages. Yeah. So, so, so the landing pages I was referring to is that like if you click on the spring 2020 seller's guide or any of the links at the top, that was the landing pages that I put together. It would take so, you to um, capturing those. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. I mean, perfect. It, perfect. That, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Let me, let me subscribe. Okay. This is all we need, Jen. Just this damn page right here. Oh, okay, That's it. Sweet. Just this page. So when they come over here and enter, look, so for example, the pixel needs to be tracking everyone who lands here and okay. the pixel needs to be tracking. Let me put this in just for, just for, um, just for the testing of a gene, just to test it real quick. And the pixel has to be on see this is not a landing page it's not oh gosh it's not a landing page okay so <laughs> here's here's what should have happened what should have happened is right when i clicked on submit i go to a second page where this page says confirmation or this is a thank you page it's a it's a thank wow. you it's it's a it's, it's a thank you and the reason why taking them to a second page is so important is because i need to track it with my facebook pixel I need to tell Facebook that that was an actual lead. Whoever landed on this thank you page is a quote unquote lead. 
How does yeah. Facebook know that if they stayed on the page? So, so we're able to track this one page, but I'm going to track it as, as a, a custom audience of people who landed here. But that same mm -hmm. track, that same analytic is if the person also opted in. I need those mm -hmm. to be separate. So, so for example, let me give you a perfect example. Here is my book. So I have a free guide as well. So in your case, it's a free seller guide. In my case, it's a, it's a free ebook. So when people come and download my book, look, this is my book that I have for real estate agents. This is the book I wrote in 2018 about all this stuff. This right here, let me go to my free book one, free book. Okay. My Facebook pixel is tracking who lands here. Okay. Mm. That person comes down, send me the book. They enter their name and email. Now look where it takes you. Send me the book. When I click on send me the book, look where it takes you. It takes you to a completely different page. On this page, it's categorized through Facebook ads under lead. Mm. So my pixel needs to be on the thank you page as well. So if you're an analytical type of person, which you mentioned in the beginning, you got to see numbers and see everything working. This is what we're yeah. going to see. We're going to be able to look at the dashboard in the ads manager and look at how many leads we got because Facebook is tracking everyone who landed on this specific page. And the only way a person will ever land here is if they put in their name and email. So, so mm -hmm. we're, we're being very specific. We're saying, Hey, Facebook people who landed here, that's a lead. So now, after a week, we can go back and look at the ads manager and, and categorize everything and look at how many leads we captured. So this right here, you just downloaded my book. It's me on video. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You think I like the way I look either? Like also like, no, dude, like I have so many insecurities myself. But, but because it's video, I completely stand out. I don't, it doesn't matter how the hell I look. Like it's because it's video. I got you indoctrinated. You're now here and you're like, damn, okay, he's a real person. You're seeing my stuttering. You're seeing my flaws. You're seeing my messed up haircut. You're seeing my uncut beard. Like you're seeing the real <laughs> David. And, 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 and yeah. all that, all those imperfections are what psychologically gets an individual. Mm. Bottom line. Okay. And so in this video, here's what I'm saying. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, well, it's an eight minute video. Cause I'm talking about a lot of stuff, but the whole objective of this video is number one, I'm thanking them. Number two, I'm introducing them, my, myself. Number three, I'm telling them to go check their email because I just emailed them the book. And then number four, I'm telling them to click here to schedule a call. So in my business, I go after real estate agents. My bait is a free book. They, get, they download the free book. They come and watch my video. They click on the button. They go to my calendar. They schedule the call. That's it. And so now, now I have hundreds of leads in my system that are receiving emails from me every day. And I'm on these calls every day, all day. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. Like it's that simple. It starts with that, that Facebook ad. It starts with that, that, that weekly ad and it starts with just giving away something for free, but also having this back end, you know, set up the correct way. So we, we have to spend some time on, on that, on these landing pages. Like I'm telling you, you don't need this one. Like get rid of this one. Like the landing page. It, yeah. It is going to run you. There is, there is a, a $99 a month, you know, cost to it, but I'm telling you, cancel everything else. Like whatever the hell you got going on, cancel it. We need Facebook ads, <laughs> okay. landing page. That's it. Okay. That's it. Like I'm telling you, Jen. Well, for some reason it. I thought that you needed, for some reason I thought that you needed a um, website in order to have a landing page. Like hell you no. Just... No, they're separate. They're okay. separate. They're completely hmm. separate. What GoDaddy for sure. Okay. I've been with GoDaddy for freaking 25 years. Literally. I have mm -hmm. hundreds of domains through GoDaddy. They're the only ones I've ever bought a domain from. I've been with them forever. They are more of a website, not landing pages. So yeah. I don't need a website. You don't need a website. We need a landing page. I need to capture leads. I don't care to give up information just yet. Like, I don't need you to go to my website and, 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 and read a bunch of information for what? No cap, put your damn name and email and I'll email you all kinds of information. 
You know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> right. So, okay. It, it just comes down to, we need, we need, we need a handful of coaching calls. Just, just let me know where, yep. talk to your husband, whatever, what can we free up for a handful of coaching calls so I can teach you this stuff. Okay. And, and well. normally just, just to throw it out there, normally I do charge 500 for five coaching calls because it, there's really a okay. lot that goes into this before we even run our first ad. Okay. Like before we even run our first ad, there's a ton that goes into it. So if that's nowhere in your budget, then just let me know. And we'll just start off one call at a time rather than just doing the full package. I know you're going to, we're going to need multiple calls, but if we just knock yeah. out a couple calls, I'll try to cram everything that I normally do in five calls. I'll try to cram it all into two, but it might be, it might be like two, two hour calls. And so Okay. That right there is just time consuming for both of us. And yeah. that's what I'm just saying you should invest in first. Like invest okay. in learning this stuff first. And after that, you control whatever the hell you want to spend. But at least you're gonna know the right way to run these ads. Yeah. You know, so okay. So just let me know. Yeah, I will. Um, yeah, I'm gonna talk to him t t today and um we'll see what we can come up with. Yeah. Get rid of this GoDaddy but one. You don't need this no more. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. But you have a buyer guide awesome. or seller guide? Do you have uh, your hands on that? On that? Like a PDF? Yep. yep. Perfect. That's yep. all you need. That's all you need, Jen. That's all you need. Seller guide, right. buyer guide. Sweet. We'll focus on one and and then and then we just need a little bit of budget to to freaking start learning all this stuff. Awesome. Okay. Okay. So message me sooner well, than I'll later. be in touch. I'll let you know. Right yeah. on. Sounds I good, will. Jen. I'll be a message. Thanks, away. Dave. I appreciate Thanks. it. You're so so okay. welcome. Bye-bye.